Okay, in this video we're going to look at this book, it's called Boys Toys, an illustrated history of little things that please big minds. It's by Jed Novak, it's by Burlington, New Burlington Books, and it's 9.99. So, figures, toys, stuff of the 70s, 60s and stuff like that. So what year was it published? 2006. Here's the contents page. Classic action heroes, TV and film, lost in space, automobiles, real life heroes, space heroes, trains, planes and boats, construction and mechanics, design, classics, computing. So it's quite nicely illustrated this book starting off with G.I. Joe 1963 to 76 the 12 inch version I guess those little planes are the or maybe they're just arrows but it's got some good images there a bit of writing about G.I. Joe which in the UK was Action Man Here, Action Man, Palatoy Hasbro 1965 to 84. There's a little boat, Action Man boat. Captain Action, this is an American thing. I don't think we had that here in the UK. Maybe we did, I don't know. So Captain Action. That was uh, Ideal's take on, uh, or trying to compete with G.I. Joe. Johnny Rest, Mark's toy, Chief Cherokee, Some good stuff in this book, Captain Tom Maddox, Sea Devils, that's Mattel, don't remember any of these, we've got Marvel Comics Superheroes, Mego. That's clearly not a Mego figure. That picture's wrong. Pocket Hero, those are really small. 3.75, very hard to find figures. <laughs> a lot more simpler than this. So that's a mistake in the book, wrong illustration there. Then going to TV and film. So going to James Bond. So this would have been a Moonraker. That's the Corgi James Bond Lotus. It's a cool toy there. Spy Who Loved Me. Excellent. So there's a bit of writing about all of this. Six Million Dollar Man definitely had this with the engine. <laughs> His forearm was rubber, so you could roll it up and um, take the chip out of his arm. Great toy. Kenner. This is classic. Starskin Hutch. So they made the Mego figures. That looks like the Corgi car. Worth £150. A Ford Torino. That's such a cool car. And we got the Lone Ranger, Gabriel Marks, or Incredible Hulk, Mego. UFO, that, that is, the, if that's the dinky, it's been painted up to look more accurate than the actual toy. Space 99 Eagle, love these. One of my favourite toys. I love Space 99 Eagle Transporters. There's a Mattel and there was the Dinky as well. The Mattel was the American. That's a huge one. But I prefer the, this Dinky. So cool. Um, Thunderbirds. I had the Dinky Thunderbirds. I guess it was that like that back in the mid 70s. That's the only one I had Thunderbird 2 and Thunderbird 4. 
Captain Scarlet didn't have any of that. Lost in space. You see Star Wars, Kenner, 78 to 85, 86. Very cool. Amigo Star Trek. I remember seeing these. I never had them though. I wanted them. My mum wouldn't take me to the toy shop. And I still remember where that toy shop is. Back in the... It's totally gone now. It's down in... Uh, not the toy shop I showed you in that video at the start of lockdown, the Barnets, it was another place that had them. I really wanted to go in, but my mum wouldn't let me. Oh, she was busy taking us somewhere. Split the Buck Rogers. Uh, Daleks. BBC and Corgi. Very popular in the UK. I've actually got that. Lost in Space. That's, uh, I think that's Johnny Lightning. Lost in Space. Mighty Zeroids. That's an American thing. Robbie the Robot. Namura. That's in Japan. Coneheads. Yanzawa. Or Yanzawa. 1968. These robots are such a great design. Ray Guns, Lone Star Cap Gun, that's really old, by 1956, Space Heroes, Major Matt Mason, heard of him, Mattel, May Matt Mason's Lieutenant, I think this is quite a popular line back in the 60s before my time. Color forms, shrinky dinks definitely had those in the 70s, 80s. Godzilla, real life heroes, evil Knievel definitely had that when I was a kid. Probably this one, but I remember that bit being red on my one. Uh, the Beatles, Yellow Submarine, Monkeys, Monkey Mu that's the reissue, but I'm a big Monkeys fan, so, I mean, because you grew up in the 70s, they showed it all the time, the TV show, the music's really good as well, I've got the reissue of this, the Monkey Mobile, so, very cool, Beatles as well, Automobiles, Matchbox cars, well obviously we had those in the 70s, this ambulance, pretty cool, Hot Wheels, don't remember Hot Wheels in the UK but, um, I mean in the UK we had Corgi and um, Matchbox, stock cars, Amazing. Oh, uh, obviously in the UK, Scale Electric was the big thing. Dinky cut toys, yep, Dinky was great. Really, Corgi as well. So, all the stuff we had in the UK was Dinky and Corgi. Very cool. Johnny Lightning, these Americans. Tootsie toys. Tonka toys, yep. When we were kids, these were solid metal. Now they're plastic. So that's cool. Siku. Knight Rider. Ertle. Kojak. Corgi. The Saint Corgi. Dukes of Hazard. Corgi. Trains. Lionel, when in the UK we had, uh, what did we have, Hornby obviously, AF trains, these are all American I guess, Tyco trains, have to have um, Hornby somewhere, imported trains, Hornby, 
I had one like that. I gave it to my nephew. I wonder if he should still have it. I mean, obviously it doesn't work because I got that in 1980. So, but it should be in okay condition. Uh, Airfix. <laughs> you know, in, the, in growing up in the 70s, Airfix was great fun. You know, when you were a kid, you just rushed them, built them so badly, splash paint all over the place. Ravel. Model planes, who are they? Aero Classics. Dinky. Promotional planes. Planes, trains and automobiles. Toy boats. Remco Triang. Construction and mechanics, the Gilbert Erector set. In the UK, we had Meccano. <laughs> in the 70s, it was just, you know, a real, just a construction kit, nothing, you could make whatever you wanted, really. Lego as well. Now it's all, you, you sort of limited to what you can build. Atari CX. I remember the joystick. I never had an Atari. I remember Simon. I never had it though. MB games. I did have the Commodore 64. I had this as my second version of 64 plus that CN2 cassette player. Commodore 64 is great. Pong. Space Invaders. Different games. I had Beachheads. Platoon, I definitely had that. Design Classics. Slinky, Etch-a-Sketch. I never had it, I don't think I had Etch-a-Sketch, but I remember playing with it. Space Hoppers. Connect Four, I love, I still love play Connect Four, that's a great game. Rubik's Cube, I can do one side. My nephew can do all the thing in about five minutes, the whole thing. Top Trumps. Silly Putty, yep. Play Doh, Stratego, Monopoly, Spiral Garth, Kaplunk, Don't Spill the Beans, Mark's Play Sets, Ant Farms, and the Index. It's quite a good book, I mean, it's a good balance of American and British stuff. So, yeah. It's called Boys Toys by Jed Novick. Um, yeah, not bad. I'm going to show a couple more books, so that's uh, Boys Toys, we're going to look at another one now.